and it's it's just been a long road. How much longer will it take before Knight's Landing ever really gets recognized for being a waterfront community? I can't afford to wait another 60 years. <laughs> I've owned this uh, now for 17 years. Tell me about the first time you saw this place. Oh, scary. <laughs> the first word that comes to mind. I was a much younger man back then, and I was willing to take on the challenge. California. It's really peaceful, really laid back. We couldn't be here without these big trees and the shade. So we look to make it a destination and a special event facility for entertainers and performers, for families and friends, and people of all ages. We're pet friendly and we provide a clean, safe environment selling uh, all types of beach treats. My favorite part of this is working with people and having them recognize the value of what we created here as an opportunity to recreate. Uh, we're looking to evolve uh, the place even more, uh, expand the food and beverage service as well. The biggest thing I like about California is its proximity to everywhere. Within a two hour period, you could be in almost any environment. And this is just a great location to base from. You can literally go anywhere in the world from our dock right here in front of our facility. If we can get the investors to recognize how close we are and how valuable the waterfront is, you don't see too many of those opportunities anymore in the state. And I think this is one that's just been overlooked. So uh, more challenges to come and uh, no matter how much money I have, I couldn't duplicate Mother Nature and the river running by and right in front of the place.